happy place right now. Uh, we're about to make it significantly less happy no, where we start. It's like a giant snake, there's snakes a Snakes and spiders and everything else. Mike Hopcraft joining us. He is the reptile guy, owner operator of the reptile guy. And he's yep. part of the men's show this weekend. How are you, Mike? I'm good. Thanks nice for having to me see out. You as always. What or who is that? This here is a bearded dragon that we just got in uh, not too long ago. We actually got it in last week. Uh, and if you can look at his face here, if he'll stop moving, he's got very large masses on his face. So we're, we're assuming they're tumor, tumors. The people who had them, I guess they just didn't care enough to take them in because this tumor here should have been taken care of when it was smaller than this one here. Um, but they obviously didn't care enough to, you know, do anything about it. So, so. now you're doing something Yeah, so now we're, we're taking them into the vet. Um, we're hoping to have them removed, and we're hoping that they're not tumors. They're going to keep growing back in that, but we'll, we'll see what Mike, happens. Mike, all the animals that we're going to see today and all the creatures, are they all rescue? Or? Yeah, all the ones we have today are rescues and surrenders, except for the spider, except for your favorite one. Why, do you, um, why, why did you bring that here? There's a tarantula Because here. I heard that you really liked them, so I no, thought I'd bring them yeah. out. <laughs> yes, they are. They are rushing the surrenders. So, so close to having a panic attack right now. I'm, but the spider Mike right is behind constantly me. balancing popularity with unpopularity. Now, yeah, this, guy, your job. this guy is very fast too, he, and he's called a bearded dragon. So what is yeah, his ammo? The, what the does reason he do? the reason they're called bearded dragons is because under his throat here they have a little flap of skin. Right there, you see that. Yeah. So when they get scared or angry, they can actually puff that up, kind of full of air, and they've got a little bone that helps stick it out, and it makes them look bigger and tougher. Right, so they'll Typical open their mouth, they'll puff that up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah this, right. it's all for show. They don't actually do anything, but they puff themselves up to make themselves look bigger. That works for Yes. Yeah, I know, that didn't but work that well. Huh? They, they will also puff it up to make themselves look sexier for the females. Bam! Right? Hey. So, yes. Looking yes. good to me now, little bearded dragon. Okay. I have parts yeah. that I puff out as well. This uh, is talk, Slash. This is Slash. Slash is a green iguana. Um, he is not full grown at all either. Really? And uh, now that you're petting him and all that, I will tell you that he was turned into us because he was too aggressive. All right. right? He, awesome. actually, he actually sent his owner to the hospital. There was a feeding incident, and he just went nuts do for his food. Do they bite? And, oh, is that what they do? Too. Uh, uh, they can bite. Uh, they actually have. He's going to uh, fall off. Would you not uh, fall off? Here, I'll, take, I'll bring him over here. So not I, got him. Okay, I got here. an iguana today at work. Okay, so we'll bring the iguana over here okay. and make sure the we'll iguana doesn't guy. rush off. Okay, so, no, we're going to we'll take him away. Sorry, Slash, did I make you mad, bro? There we go. So, okay. How much larger would something like this get? Uh, full grown, they can get over six feet long. Okay, right? And he's, he's not even four feet long yet, so he will get bigger. What does he like to eat? Uh, he's, a, he's a vegetarian, actually. We have some food hmm. here. We'll see if we can get him to eat some food. He will probably eat right now because he is always hungry. Would you like fresh crap pepper there, on that, see? Flash? But when he, oh, when he opens his mouth, you can see he dude. does have teeth in there. They're hard to see, but they are razor sharp teeth in there. Hence the feeding incident. Too. Yes, yeah, yes. No. Well, he, he just gets really excited for his food. Like He lunges out for his food, mouth wide open. His rider involves lettuce. He's actually lettuce. pretty cute, but I'm he still kind of not Especially I'm not when he's into eating it. and not focusing on you. He's, yeah, he's yeah, that, good, that makes so. me a little more comfortable. <laughs> well, he okay. is beautiful. Yeah. Awesome. What else do we have, Mike? We'll What's bring out the next? tortoise here. The tor we'll put Slash back here. Hopefully he'll just sit there. Stay. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Hi, bud. Iguanas can actually fall up to 50 feet and not hurt themselves. So if he fell from here to the floor, he'd be fine. fine. Yeah, he'd be fine. And this here is Dozer. Dozer, Dozer. is our sulcata tortoise. Um, he's the one. He was actually all over the news when we first got him in back in December 2010. Um, he's the one that has holes. Yeah, he's got holes drilled in his shell there. Not, not sure if you can see him or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, see perfect. So he's got four holes in his shell. The people actually drilled holes in his shell and installed a handle onto oh, him. Oh, come on. Um, we don't know why they did that. They, okay, let's talk about the turtle's shell. They feel things. Yes, it I actually have. If you, if you can do me a favor and grab that shell there. It's right beside the spider. Can you Go just... ahead. Oh, you're <laughs> such a chicken. But, I mean, they do feel They're, things. Oh, yeah, they, they feel everything. Their shell is basically, he just dropped Sorry, the Mike, shell. Sorry, Mike, I didn't know it was attached. Luckily, it's not going to, it's okay, just pick the whole thing up. It's fine. Okay. Bring it over here. <laughs> Well, there's only a shell, there's yeah, no turtle There's no actual turtle. There's no so turtle. There's, this is the shell of a turtle, and if you look at the shell here, their shell is bone, it's their spine that goes down there, oh, and wow. the lines that grow out are their ribs, so the ribs have expanded. So their shell is basically bone, and then the top is keratin. So, so it's the same poor as dozer, nails. when somebody was drilling stupid holes in them, yeah. put a handle on them, felt every minute Oh, exactly, because they do have blood vessels and nerves running through their shell as well. So drilling in there, it would have bled, it would have hurt them, so it's not, not a good idea. There's also glue on them too, glue here, glue at the back. Aww, we assume that they, they glued on. a handle on the first, and then it, it probably broke. Right now he's about 30 pounds. They can grow up to 100 pounds. You're kidding. So he's got he's got a lot more growing to do now. So he, at that age, he won't be on the table. He'll be sitting on the ground. Dozer. Come out of your shell, Dozer. Don't worry it's about it, buddy. Out, yeah. Look at that. Okay, okay, beautiful. And then we'll put this guy what back on the ground. Hey, P.S., how did you end up over here. there? I've never <laughs> seen you stand to my right, ever. Ever. In our entire career, 15 it's years, you've never thing. stood on my right because hand side. How about this one here? And that's Holy. not the only there thing that's go. over there. We'll, we'll put the head of that in there, so I'm safe. Thank you. So, this here is a boa. It's just your typical boa constrictor. You see he's a little bit larger right here. because he ate? He ate a couple of rats, so he does have some rats. Where is my puppy? How does Slash feel about it. So you can uh, see Slash is a little bit nervous, but he's okay. He's not he's not puffing up too much. You see Slash, when, when the tail gets a little closer you, there. Friend. Yeah, he's fine. Slash
deadline. I can't please everybody. I'm sorry. How old is he and how big will he get? This one, I have no idea. I, I haven't got a clue how old this one is here. Um, this one was actually turned into us by someone who had him living in a container not much bigger than this box. And, and he was this size when we got him in. So we're, we're not 100% sure If he's how looking old at he me, is. should I be thinking about anything in particular? As long as you don't smell like rodent, you should be fine. <laughs> Uh -oh. But I don't uh -oh. know you that well, so I don't know. L I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we, we may be in trouble. You guys can actually touch him. No. You can you can touch him. I, it's good. I'm a little nervous about near the head. I want to touch the rat. That's where the rat is. No, I want to. You're petting the rats right now. I want to pet two Perfect. animals in one. Three, three. There's three, three rats in there. All oh, right. Look at this. I just touched three animals. That's <laughs> now amazing. should we should we bring out the favorite one of the day? Yeah, let's do I it. I think we should bring out the okay, favorite one. Okay, seriously, people. No. We'll put him back in here. When people see you, uh, you're at the show this weekend. Uh, yep. Will people be able to get close? We, and we're see going and to have a booth with over probably about 50 different kinds of reptiles, amphibians, and arachnids there. Um, Perfect. Yeah, they're going to be able I to come out. They can, they can touch stuff. We're going to be offering people to get the chance to get photos so, taken with their animals. No, but I want to ask Gretchen a question. Gretchen will be there Not as well. Not Gretchen at all. Gretchen, Gretchen will be at the is show. a total biot. <laughs> Listen. I want to have a question for you. Yeah. If, if somebody has one of these things that they don't want to keep, can they call you? Like, you know, some yeah. people get one of these things at a pet store and they don't know what to do with it, and it would just be terrible to let it outside where it's probably going to die. Well, they wouldn't survive out here. At Thank all. you, yeah. Fiona, for so. that question from Burnaby. We appreciate that. <gasps> yes. What are we uh, doing? No, we, we do. That is what we do. We, we are a rescue. We take animals in all the time. Um, unfortunately, we don't get any funding. So that's why when we do things like the, the surgery with the bearded dragon, we, you know, if, if people would like to help donate to help with surgeries and that, yeah. we do take donations, but we are a reptile rescue not a cute puppy kitten rescue, so we don't really get a whole lot of donations in. You don't get in. the same so, donations. Yeah, so that, that surge on that bearded dragon is going to come out of pocket because People we're are thinking gonna, of it. Uh, yeah. That's what we want to do. Does now this, to Gretchen. Does, this, does Gretchen have things like fangs? Would you like to see her fangs? Uh, I'm not sure how much time we have, but let me, let me show you her fangs here. You just took out a key. Why did I did. You take a key I did. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm holding her upside down now. Oh, now, I want, you, I want you to come nice and close. Now, look at this. There are her fangs right there. Wait, hold it. Wait, wait, wait. Hold it still. Can you see there? I'll this way. And you're telling me those I should move. Those are her fangs right there. I need a, a manicure or something. <laughs> um, so yes, those are, those hey, are Mike, her fangs. Hey, Mike, here's the thing. I am focused on your nails <laughs> yeah, right now. I was, all. I was. Um, now, another thing, too, if you look on my hand, I don't know if you can see this little, the little fluff on the back of my hands there. Um, that's actually hair. All right, and if you look at the back of her abdomen here, so it's she's, not spikes. I thought that no, no, they're hairs. Well, but those right hairs, if, if I was to take my hand and I rub it in your face, um, those hairs would make you really itchy. Okay, it's a defense mechanism they have. They can actually Why throw those hairs off. Why she coming straight for me? Because she wants to come and see you. I think that you should be brave, and actually, I'm just gonna. I don't think that that's gonna here. happen. Gretchen, to go see here. Fiona right now, you would need transit. She okay, is one of out you of has here. to hold her. One of you has to hold no, her. Well, there's only one of us left. Come in. No, I'm so Jesus. not in on that no. one. Sorry. We'll you let know her what? roam. We'll let her roam there. I think you're. But she, she will also be at the men's show. She um, moves so fast. If people are actually brave and want to touch her and hold her, they can come up to the men's the show. The only and see reason her there. I'm not holding her is because I'm not completely convinced that I won't just spaz out and. And that's the problem too. Is that they, this this part here, here <laughs> this abdomen is like a water balloon. So if she was to fall, you know, from here to the floor, there's a good chance once that this would explode, right? And that's all of her guts. And once again, I have to ask, why do people get things like that as a pet? I'm not going to lie, I think she's pretty cool. It. I think she's pretty cool. She's cool. She but, is. I mean, you're not going to... Mike like... has to yell you're so far away. I know. There's no <laughs> reason for me to be over there. There is, because there's a cool animal to look at over I here. I can see it. See I got her over you. here. You can't touch her from over there. No, I can't. Can I just sort of like Why what don't you put, put your hand out and let her walk over your hand? Uh, just try that. Come no, on, be brave. Put one finger out and let her walk okay. over one finger, okay? Holy <laughs> <That's it. laughs> I don't think we can say that on TV, can we? Touch her, touch her mouth. No, I can't do it, okay. I can't do it. So, I've never I seen it. I can't do it. Okay, by the way, I'm going to come over here and be brave. Mike the Reptile Guy is one of the people that you can meet in the Vancouver Men Show. Uh, After June you, Fiona. June 15th and 17th is going to be in Abbotsford. Oh my God, I'm going to barf. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Uh, if you have none some of the extra animals cash react. And you want to donate? You can go to the website, find out more. I'm going to pass out. Okay, now hold it real quick before we're done. Hold it. No, I'm not going to do hold it. Hold the I can't tarantula. Do it. Uh, we're going to take a break. <laughs> we'll come back and update on the Easter Seals uh, 24 hour relay with Marco and Christine. This is their biggest fundraiser <laughs> over the year and helps send some great kids to camp. Okay, I'm going to try it again. Don't push do it, it though. Oh, God. Do it. She's going to walk away. Oh, yeah, oh, <laughs>